Engineer 775 wanted to show you, uh, I think it's my ultimate shallow water source solution, and that's using the Dankhoff piston pump. This is a 3040-24, it's a 24 volt, kind of like the 24 volt systems because I can run everything, keep the batteries charged off of one nice um, solar panel. It's also 24 volt nominally. It's a 285 watt panel to keep two AGM batteries charged and happy to run the system. Cycle time is less than a minute and it will pressurize this well troll, best well tank that you can buy, well troll, well X troll tank. It's a 40 gallon tank. And we've got a pretty tight margin on the pressure switch. It's run at 38 to 52 on the pressure switch setting. Um, going back to my flex charge, 24 volt charge controller, surge arrestor, and um, put an inverter on it um, just to uh, give the folks the ability to do some light work off of this battery bank if they're if it's a good sunny day so we're also using that for some freeze protection to and we put heat tape on the water box of that pump and all the water lines that are exposed have heat tape on them good for minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit they said it keep the water flowing also put in a um, Rusco spin down uh, centrifugal water filter didn't want to put any replaceable filters. This one is a sustainable, rinsable, back flushable filter. They have a really good well, producing a ton of water. Also put the simple pump on it. And my static water level here is at 11 feet. So it's really just an awesome setup. Great recovery rate, high static, allows you to do things like this, where you can put in a uh, booster pump that, is, that pulls the water from your well, Boost it up to 50, 60 PSI, gives you nine gallons a minute. You can do, you can irrigate, you can do whatever you want, run your home. So, great system, in my opinion. And uh, just had fun. It was so nice to have a building with lots of room to work in. Don't usually have that. So, um, all right, this is Engineer 775 signing off. If you've got any questions, let me know. This is the way to go for your shallow water source. For some of you, this will be familiar. You have one of these outside of your home. It's a water meter from a municipal or city water system. And, uh, but you also want to put in a uh, off-grid system, maybe through drilling a well or a spring, or maybe you're just putting an irrigation system in to water your garden. So um, in order to do that, and that's what we're doing here today, I'm putting in a, a booster pump from a well and in order to do that, you need to put in a backflow preventer. Several companies make them. Uh, Watts, for instance, and this is 007, I think it's a 007 model. Backflow preventer, it's got two shutoffs, two check valves, and a valve body that needs to be tested once a year according to code for fire. Um, make sure that that baby is working. And what that valve does is prevent you feeding non-potable water as declared by city ordinances back on the city water line. So, and then I'm bringing water in from a well here, heading this way, and I double check valve that one as well so that water can only go one way and you can't. Basically, so it's set up where you can't back feed on both systems. Both systems have backflow uh, prevention. And this is the, uh, again, the professional way to do it. And then there's a tester and a testing sequence. You can see that there's four ports at the top of that the backflow preventer. It allows you to put a gauge on those and you go through a testing sequence and you need to be certified in doing that. And you test that valve out once a year to make sure that it's working correctly. Um, to, basically, it's for fire code. Okay, so if you ever want to tie in a, a, um, a non-potable system, Maybe you just put a well in for irrigation, and but you might be wanting to use it for backup water in a house. Many reasons. For whatever you do, this is what you're going to be required to do is put in some backflow prevention. Make sure you check with your city, county, whoever controls your water um, and get their take on how to do this correctly. 
and so it will not feed back on everybody else's system. There's another check valve in this system here, so there's like three check valves, but you have to put that separate backflow preventer in. All right, this is Engineer 775 signing out. Somebody's using water in the house. <laughs>